All right, uh, felt like playing some dead cells, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a limbo in between games. Oh, well, you know what this means. I think if you get the crowbar starting out you're kind of obligated to change into Gordon Freeman HEV suit. Oops, that's the wrong door. <laughs> There we go. That, yeah, I was wondering why I was loading so long. There we go. for me to get crit chances off of. Yeah, I'm not really feeling too uh, impatient today, so I'm just gonna take our time. I mean, we have a few things to buy, but you know, whatever. first floor. Oh. Except for, of course, you know. Ah, uh, the orbs and stuff. You know. So, uh, I was playing around with the backpack because I've been pretty much ignoring it um, this whole time. Ever since they added it, just because it confused me. <laughs> no, not really. I just forgot about it, and I've been I've been playing around with it with the um, uh, with like the shield and the you know the armor and stuff. That's pretty good. Like especially if you go to the sewers uh, or the poison areas, is that 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 little roll shield kind of helps you out a lot for those explodey. Uh, Sheep worms, or whatever the hell they're called. Yeah, they're, they're like worms, but they sound like sheep. Meh. <laughs> yeah, you can just like wipe out a chain reaction of those dudes with those guys. 
But then I guess, I mean, I guess you could do it with the shield, but I mean, if you don't feel like... Well, here, we'll do it right now. We'll bypass our, uh... Usual. And, uh, try that one. Keep my clothes. So every time you roll, you, you're pretty much, it's like the same as blocking, more or less. I mean, there's, there's differences, but... You know, it's, it's pretty good anti-projectile if you don't want to carry a shield. Properties of the shield. Uh, oh. Actually, rolling also parries attacks with projectiles on the shield with your backpack, dealing 50% of base damage. Right. So, but the properties of the shield are it, it makes it it makes projectiles crazy good. So, oh no, why did I do that? So I'm thinking maybe. Well, I don't know. I'd have to do some testing. But backpack is extremely useful. And I've just been sleeping on it because I don't know. You guys. Meh. Scorpions have little saddles on them. Like, is there something that rides them? Or was supposed to ride them? Actually, I wonder if you could parry with the wall. Oh, you can. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, this whole time I've been like, man, there's so many useless perks that you can get, right? But I'm starting to realize as I kind of get good, is that it's not that they're, there's like, the choice isn't which one is the most useless, but which one is the most useful, because they, they all, they're all really, really good for different, you know, situations. And I think it was just my own lack of, uh, knowledge and ignorance that was kind of uh, getting in the way. <laughs> Hubris, you know. But yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of taking it casually right now. Hanging out, feeling chill. I'm going to switch over to an RPG or something today. A new game. Since I finished Mad Max yesterday. Keep it interesting. I don't know, or maybe I'll start learning a new fighting game. Since I have so many and competing. Who knows?
You always gotta say hi to our buddy. <laughs> So pretty much that guy, um, yeah, I, he, I think he, I forget what, what skill we unlocked, but he, he pretty much just said, okay, this is where you go get this rune to double jump or, or to make vines come up or something, right? And we're like, hey, thanks. And we took it and he's like, oh yeah, make sure to give it back to me. And we're like, sure, sure. And we took it and we just kind of rubbed it in his face. Well, I mean, you didn't have to, you can just ignore him, right? But I, I came back and I rubbed it in his face. You know, he gets pissed off every time I walk by. Well, he gets, he just sits there. You know, I don't I don't know if he comes back as a boss or something. Um, but I make sure to let him know. You know, every time. Because I'm cool like that. I I guess they're utilizing more. Uh, head throwing strats. Alright, let's see. Well, okay. I wonder... Because every time you roll, if you accidentally get a parry, it should... count for these things. Uh, Alright. Let's just go back to our other one. This, this one's... I find it hard to think that anyone wouldn't pick this one. It could just be me. Like I said, you know, I haven't really taken time to look at all these, but I mean, this is just super good. I don't know where you can cycle health busts. Recycle, reduce, reduce. And close the loop. No. Mm. No, I don't have anything quick that's... Pretty sure that's why I have an empty arsenal is that I don't take care to make sure I stay alive for the level, I just don't, you know, act recklessly. Like uh, playing the greatsword user in uh, Monster Hunter, so you gotta time, to position your um, your time and your space for <laughs> killing the, enemy, the mobs, the bosses. 
Man, I kind of miss Monster Hunter. Like, I... I had, uh, Monster Hunter World, and then... They came out with Iceborne, and I just, like... You know, waiting for it to go on sale or something, but it's just... I don't know, I mean, like... I feel kind of ripped off. Just because it's like... Alright, I get that there's a lot of content, there's a lot of new, you know, weapon types and stuff, but it's like, it's like 40, 40 bucks, man. I'm like, Christ, Capcom. But that's just me, I got, I got kind of personal bias against Capcom or something. Tip. I guess you can't block that shit. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that was on me. That one didn't count, I guess. See, but uh, I got that spear, right? And then I dropped it. It's the curse. It's the curse. The curse of the incompetent. Let me tell you what. I don't know. I, I still only have one boss, though. We got a new outfit though, so... Ooh, that's... Very yellow. Oil sword, or... You know what? It's interesting that that uh, jump breaks through the breakable floors because you don't get that skill so later in the game. So I'm thinking, could you kind of like bypass that if you have the you know, seismic slam or whatever it's called? Wow. Oh, hell no. So this is like. Carrying a curse chest with you. Uh oh, I don't have that anymore. That's just not for me. I'm too reckless. I figured taking a different path every time you go down is fun. Hmm. <laughs> I 
now reveals invisible enemies. I couldn't think of anything more useless. I was wondering why those guys were just kind of rooting around. Like I could see them the little invisible bitches. There was one right up there. Oh shit. Yeah, I think the oil sword is better if you have a lot of fire stuff, naturally. <laughs>
This thing's gonna be the death of me. I need to get at least one of those keys just in case I find uh, something to use it on. Although I think I need to be at the ramparts to get that li lily key, but I don't know what to go after that, so. Disorientation sword, and then, uh, what was that down here? No, no, there we go. I really, really, really like this thing. I don't know why, it almost killed me that. When I used it last time, but it's just the mobility of it all, you know. Bleh. Yeah, you know what? We don't. Let's just go. It's it's so janky and weird, but I mean, it's an extra source of mobility, so. Is this 
is the oh it's a oh wow that's very Castlevania <laughs> that's cool that's very cool uh... Do some blade, probably. <laughs> Prison depths. Yeah, that's the one I just died at. Wait, no, it's not. Is it? Hmm. Oh, yes. You know what? I can do it. I just gotta be a, a pussy for a bit. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I'm no good at this. All right. Usually, have a bonus health reduces damage taken by twenty. Okay, so this is good if I'm good. Gonna spin. Oh! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. All right, that one didn't count either. <laughs> I thought I could have killed him before he came over and, and spinning Baberto kicked me. Oh, Good start. Run stole all my mojo. Oh well. As soon as I don't have anything to sell anymore or to go fast.
Yeah, you know what? Let's do it this way. Sell those. Hello. <laughs> These guys don't take. Oh my god, I got one out. <laughs> I have no way. Fuck you, man. Do I really know I have. <laughs> oh, good. Alright, you know what? We'll just pretend that went smoothly and it wasn't a complete disaster. They changed a lot of the crossbows or in this game. Like, uh, they used to have a repeater that was just pretty much hold down. I think if I remember, I don't know. I didn't use it that much. But it was like hold down the button, and it's pretty much just like an automatic crossbow, right? Now I'm playing it, and it, and it takes up two slots, right? And it it like 
unloads an arcing, explodey volley of awesomeness. It is the coolest thing ever. I've been trying to look for... Well, I mean, I haven't been actively looking because you don't really... But, you know. I like to try that out. Because it used to be uh, the heavy crossbow was the only thing that took up, like, two slots. Because this one... You know, it takes up both primary and secondary slots in the camp. At least that's, that's what I remember. I, I'm not really the bow guy. I never was. I'd rather just get in there with a, you know, a melee and beat the shit out of it. Come on. But that's just me. so many times just from the wind up of this weapon. But I love it. Hey, perfect. Perfect. That's ideal. Hell no. There's no faster way to kill myself than getting something like that. Uh, I can't get that yet.
Oh man. That was on a roll. Oops, oops. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry, he's there, but... Well, let's see, who, who are we fighting? We're probably gonna fight the concierge again, so... Yeah. Alright. Le concierge. Oh. oh, well, I got a trophy for that. Play something chill. Ah, Star Rush, maybe. I could always just open up the old, old Final Fantasies. Not the old, old ones, but the medium old, like 7 and 8. I don't think I have 9 on the PS4. I wish I could stream as easily as I can on the PS4 and the PS3, because, man, I have so many games on the PS3.
I, just, I don't know how much life my PS3 would have anyways. Like, I've had that for... I don't know, it's second generation, and I got it at the second generation price, so... It was re relatively new when I... Well, no, it was new. I think they just came out, like, they just said, okay, no more reverse capa capability, so instead of, like, you know, 800, it's gonna be 700. What a steal. What a bargain. I was like, sure, I can, I can, I can do that. And I did it. But yeah, ever since then, so I'm not good at math, but 2000 and... Uh... Eight? Maybe? 2008? Wow. And I used it pretty consistently, and I moved from the East Coast to the West Coast. Uh, I took it on a train, I took it on a bus, I took it on planes, I put it in my sea bag, unprotected. Duffel bags, suitcase, lent it out to a friend, put it in my apartment. Like, it's been through everything, so... I'm sure if I booted it up... Like, I know the disk drive doesn't work anymore at all. Uh, because I used to take it over to my buddy's place and we would, uh, we'd play fighting games. Pretty, like, weekly, I would say, every Saturday, right? We'd watch new episodes of, um... Uh, Twin Peaks, because they were, they were airing the brand new 20 years later Twin Peaks, right? And we were both huge fans, so we'd just get drunk, watch that, and play fighting games. And eventually the disc drive stopped working. So, now, uh, we can't put any other games except Ultimate Marvel 2, so it's like... That's it. Alright, let's go a different path. Yeah, but I mean, I, they're, they're like a thousand fighting games on that system. That I got. Just cause like... I don't know, I had a pretty good job back then when I was doing it, and I had a lot of time. So... Uh... You know, anytime a fighting game went on sale, I'd just be like, snag that up. I had I had friends at the time that were just like enthusiastic about fighting games, so like, hey, get this game. And I'd be like, all right. And I'd be like, hey, get this game. And I'd be like, all right. So we had a pretty steady flow. Mm. I think put this in my backpack. My big pick. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Since then, I've been sort of. chilled out on fighting games. It's not that... It's like, I get really salty when I see a lot of the same. Uh, like, people don't... Well, it's always kind of been that way, where it's just like one or two optimized characters that people go for, you know, flowcharts or whatever, and, and then there's an oversaturation of that. But I think Marvel 3 really... I don't know. It really kind of just like... It was like the breaking point for me, because I would go online, you know, I'd practice all, I'd stay in the lab, and then I'd just get like some Sentinelers, or some, some, you know, Wesker, or some guy who saw like five minutes of some, some tournament player, and he's just trying to do the tournament thing, and he can't, but he keeps trying and trying, and you're just trying to have like a real match, and it's just spam. I wouldn't have a problem with it, it's just like... When you're learning the matchups and stuff, and, and somebody comes over and accidentally, well, doesn't accidentally win, but wins, like, with spam or something, you're just like, man, that's irritating. <laughs> well, it used to be bad in Blaze Blue with, uh, you know, Jin's doing ice cars all the time, and you had to learn kind of how to go around that. Like, when you're, when you're first, first starting out, not like... 
you know, after you're already kind of established in the game. But like you have to learn how to get past all the all the cheese and all the fighting games and it became Yeah, it kinda sucked all the joy out of it for me. It's like just going up against different different people with you know, different characters and experimenting. I don't know, that's why I play with my friends or I tried to play with my friends, but nobody want nobody wants to and does play fighting games anymore. Everyone grew up, started having kids and stuff. She can't blame them, but... I think COVID happened, though. I'm still trying to play fighting games every now and then, but, you know, I just can't take it as seriously, and I have such a short fuse for bullshit, <laughs> just cheap shit, you know, and I know, I know, I know, I know, it's like, that stuff doesn't exist at the higher tier levels, like, when I got, when I was, like, in, you know, top whatever, and, blaze blue it's like nobody was doing all that bullshit it was just everyone was playing the game like appropriately i don't i mean i'm not saying that there's like a right way to play but there's there's like a a way that you kind of you can't get away with the cheese you can't get away with the bullshit as much because you'll get punished so you have to learn how to play legitimately you know you have to learn how to utilize all the character mechanics and you can't just you know spam a move and be successful but the problem is getting to that point and kind of like mustering through all the all the just ter just wading through the the cheese I don't know maybe I'm just too old for that shit anymore. I remember, what was it? Like the first time I saw Guilty Gear, it was Guilty Gear. Ah, uh, what was it called? XX Reload the Midnight Carnival or something. It was on the Xbox, right? And I just like, I followed that game. I was like, oh my god! It like blew my mind how cool it was. Just like like watch it because it's like. Not only uh, was it just like uh, this brand new kind of genre, because like the only games, I, the only fighting games I played at that point were um, Soul Calibur 2 and a little bit of Tekken at my retarded friend's house. Well, he wasn't retarded, but he was he was autistic before autism existed, so everyone just thought he was ADHD. <laughs> you know. And uh, he, he had no interest in playing that game legitimately, but, you know, I didn't know any better. I was just like, yay, video game, this is cool. Because they had it, like, uh, my uncle would always go to Red Robin, and I would just hang out in the arcade part of Red Robin, you know? Because the adults would just talk for an hour when I was a kid. And I remember seeing the demo, because I, I never, my mom... You know, I never had any money to play the games, but the demo would always go, and I'd always see, you know, Paul just punching, Paul, then Jin, and, or Kazuya, or whatever, whoever the fuck it was, right? I always see that, and, uh, that, and, um, I think one of my, my class, when I was a very, very kid, went to the arcade, or not the arcade, but went to the ice rink, and at the ice rink they had this arcade that had, uh, Soul Calibur 1, or Soul Blade, I think, at the time. And I remember seeing, like, Ivy Sword, and I was like, oh, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, just the, the whip, you know? It's like a sword whip. And I'll never forget that, because I was like, oh, that's so cool, you know? 
I didn't make the connection until way later. It was Soul Calibur, right? I was like, oh. Because I never knew anyone with the Dreamcast. What I think. guy's ass. His name's Andy, right? He was the guy with the PS1 and Tekken 2 or whatever. He would just play like True Ogre and spam the, I don't know, the, the very obviously not meant for tournament cheese moves, right? <laughs> they would just do that over and I'm like, come on man, let's play the game. And the only reason I like Soul Calibur so much is like weapons, you know? Like why, why doesn't... It bothered me so much that Yoshimitsu and Tekken had this sword that he never ever used. He just kept on his back. I was like, that doesn't. It seems like it would be an advantage, right? Like, why is he. So, when I saw him in Soul Calibur, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, there. That makes sense, you know? Maybe he was just saving it. I don't know. You know what? I bet if I come here with the gardener's outfit... Okay, I get it, I'm smart. Alright, let's read that again. Gloves, which were made a courier. So, I'm guessing if we come back here, the gardener's outfit. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know that there were outfit specific unlocks <laughs> until that last place that we unlocked with the cultist outfit. Yeah, but little Andy, you always go to his place, little autistic kid. He was so weird. He would just like say, okay, we've played enough video games, let's go exercise. And I didn't... I, I was like, no, I was like, this is a kid my age, and he's talking about, you know, stopping playing video games and going and getting some exercise. I thought it was brainwashed, but he was just kind of athletic, I guess. I don't know. Let's play some basketball, man. What? But we, we got video games right here. No, man. Yeah, and I remember it's, um... His mom would stay up late at night and do things in the kitchen. I don't know, just like hang out or read on the kitchen. And uh, his brother, who was a little bit older than us, we were like, I don't know, 12 or something at the time. His brother would come home and he was like 20 and he would just get into like open arguments with his mom. Like right there, there's a sleepover, right? And it's just like incredibly awkward, incredibly loud, just a situation where it's just like, I don't know, and they would just scream all night. It's like, are you fucking doing this thing? And I'm, you know, I was raised in kind of a repressed household where we didn't swear or talk about things, you know. So it's like they're cussing and screaming over here in the in the kitchen at like 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> and little Andy's just like used to it. He's just hanging out, you know. No, I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm like, I, I, I couldn't, I don't know. This guy. How far did he go? Yeah, that was a trip. That was that, uh, he had all the good stuff too. Because I remember he had the first Pokemon Yellow I've ever seen, and I was just like watching him play like a like a nerd because I was like, whoa, Pikachu follows you around? Like that blew my mind. He had all these things and he didn't he didn't use any of them. I think he also had uh Rob. Uh and I don't know if you don't like if you know what Rob is, he, he, I think he's a Smash Brother character, but 
He's this robot, right? And he's incredibly specialized. And by that mean, he has like two games that are specifically designed for his, his mechanic, which is, uh... He picks up a disc and then puts it on different sides, right? So you could play this game that consisted of like, uh... They were like doorways, right? Like red and blue, or blue and blue and orange doorways, because he had two discs. And what you would do is you would have to have like player one who was playing the game. You know, it was like a platformer or whatever, 2D kind. Of. It was NES, so it's, you know, it wasn't that great. And uh, player two, or the person that was controlling the robot, would have to tell the robot to kind of, you know, pick up the disc very slowly, Rob and put it on the other side so you could open the next little door. Or, if you were smart, you could just put your hand on it, you know, and change it just immediately instead of waiting for this guy to do his whole, you know, robot thing. Oh, fuck. And he had that and, like, like a few other games, and they were just not fun. It was it was just, like, the gimmick, the Nintendo gimmick, you know, this is... Nintendo was doing gimmicks back then, but, like... Yeah, but I mean, uh, he had a Rob, and he just had all these cool toys and all these cool games that his mom got him, and he just didn't care about him. He wanted to go out and play basketball. Or go swimming. And I just... I couldn't relate. I don't know why my mom made me hang out with him. My god, I'm not... I think she was just friends with her mom or something. <laughs> She's like, here, go have a play date. Ah, there it is. There it is. Oh, well, I do have a... where is it? I have a seed that my buddy Dubs gave me for Slay the Spire that I still need to kind of, uh, use. So I've been trying to get a Watcher run, and... or trying to get a Watcher complete. And he's gotten two so far, ever since I mentioned it. <laughs> he just, like... You know... So, actually, yeah, let's go, let's go do that really quick. Buddy dubs.